Uh, this heat is definitely the big story. And one of the things, Bridget, that you're talking a lot about is the power grid. First thing that comes to a lot of people's mind when we talk triple digits. Exactly, Brandon, and thankfully we had a relatively mild June in terms of temperatures and energy regulators say that really helped uh, prevent strain on the power grid. So right now it's looking stable, but they say that could all change if people really crank up that AC as we head into triple digit heat this holiday weekend. So the advice is keep that thermostat 78 degrees or higher if possible. And it's been quite some time since we've seen triple digit heat. It was September the last time we saw these kinds of temperatures, so it's going to take a lot of time for people to get used to myself included and we got to find creative ways to stay cool that heat advisory kicking in tomorrow morning at 11 and this time of year there is always the concern of straining the power grid which is why energy regulators are urging everyone to do their part to prevent rolling blackouts i'm not excited at all about uh the heat it's but it is part of living in sacramento we're preparing for the heat wave now this includes the use of average prediction models that help us identify in advance potential location, time, and duration for those outages. So set your thermostat to 78 if possible. Move as much of your power usage outside of peak periods during the daytime when temperatures are the hottest. And, you know, most importantly, be prepared should you have a power out. And to prepare for a power outage, have your flashlights handy, your cell phones charged, plenty of water around you. And if you require medication, have an ice chest nearby to keep that medicine nice and cool. Know how to use your generators in well-ventilated areas, not indoors, not in garages, because you do risk carbon monoxide poisoning. But Jordan, lots of events happening this week, and we have cooling centers open Friday through Monday. Fairy Tale Town is open and free of charge for anyone, uh, for kids, parents included, if it's 95 degrees or hotter so a lot of people I can imagine going out to that and today might be the last day people are working so how are the roads looking out there so the roads are good and Bridget with this heat, you know another thing that's really important to think about is also how very minimal heat is needed to make a really dangerous situation 90 degrees can cause 10 minutes in a car the closed inside of a car to become 109 degrees just an hour in a car is about 133 degrees so I've heard people leave one of their shoes, maybe uh, their wallet in the backseat to remember those children and pets that could be in their cars. So keep this in mind as we head into a really uh, warm and to hot uh, conditions going into this weekend and today even.